Around the world, an estimated 2.25 billion cups of coffee are consumed daily. From its earliest uses in the 15th century, coffee has become one of the world's most popular stimulant drugs. When we drink it, we often think we're recharging our energy. But if we zoom in on a molecular level, it's a bit more complicated. As you go about your day, your cells produce a compound called adenosine as they burn energy. This builds up and eventually binds to receptors in your brain, signaling it's time to slow down and rest so it can recharge. But when you you throw caffeine into the mix, it starts to play a trick on your brain. Caffeine, which closely mimics adenosine, latches onto these receptors, temporarily blocking the adenosine from working and signaling to the brain it needs to slow down. But here's the catch. Caffeine doesn't eliminate adenosine. It only delays its effects. Once the caffeine wears off, all that built up adenosine floods your receptors, leaving you more tired than before. So in the end, coffee doesn't give you energy. It simply blocks your brain from feeling like it needs to slow down. And here's a pro tip. If you want to experience the full effects of coffee, try consuming it later in the day when your adenosine is most active.